Okay, the camera just crapped out. I'm here to do a tut brief tutorial on how to convert N64 saves from the original system to use on emulators and such so they're backed up for life. First of all, you're going to need a de DEX drive. It was made by Interact clear back in 1998. Um, you can get them on eBay. And then you're going to need an old school computer that's going to use uh, an old school serial port and of course an N64 controller. Now, I'm not going to go through the... I'll show you the, the port later, but you know, I'm not going to use Cam Studio because I've got to get the files from this crappy computer there. This is the program that you use, I believe. It's called Dex... Dex Explorer. D Explorer, I guess. Basically, you just uh, maybe I will use Cam Studio. You take this and you copy the save and you paste it over here, which is your computer, and takes it and puts it in the folder. Okay, here's your program here. Um, you basically you just move it around and you get it to the, your memory card is over here. You just right click the game you want and hit copy and that's going to copy. Well first of all we need to get a new setting here. We'll just rename it something else. YouTube test. Now we click copy and it's going to load this slow stuff up since it's an old app and paste. That gets it into a computer file for .n64 and you just click save and it should be saved. Now we'll check the folder we'll get through this. Hit open. Go to your DBase64 folder and there it is. Okay, I finally cracked the code to figuring this out. Um, I couldn't have done it without the help of the internet, but uh, I'll go over this port thing. You plug this, this cord to the power. You just go over this now that I got the camera, and just plug it in the wall, and the port is serial. You need an old school computer, probably made before 2002, which I'm using like a 12 year old computer. And that's what serial port looks like. On the computer, looks like that. Right here. I am going to cover how I converted the file. Basically you gotta get the Dex Drive app, get all your saves backed up on there. You gotta need get your old school computer and change the screensaver. And then you got to save your dot n64 file which you go in the Dex Drive app. I'm gonna go over that real quick actually. You get the memory card, you take this thing, okay, you plug that sucker in, Dex D Explorer, okay, maybe, it's 
squared. I want the application to run. And it took me to a folder. Well, you'd go in there, you'd copy your saves over, it's pretty simple and to the point. Then you save your file as .n64. Okay, I figured this out. After I took my save file, my N64, .n64 save file, I found this site, and I will link it later, but, uh, they basically told me to get in an emulator that's up to date like this instead of like PJ64 because it sucks. PJ64 won't even open. You go in here into your settings, configure, input, then you go to control pack. You select memory, mempack, raw data, and then you would browse. And you get your N64 thing, but then this little, damn it, this little thing right here will say Dex Drive. You'd open up your Dex Drive, and it'd have somehow this magic program that I never knew that was built into this emulator I just got two days ago. We'll have that. So it'd have like five games there, so I'll show you. I was just doing one for Perfect Dark. This one will have multiple saves. Then um, I think I hit, you'd hit Save Note, and then you hit Save um, right down here, and then, then the emulator will load your save, you'll find it, if you put it in the right folder in the directory, then you'll load your game. It'll take a while this for this thing to load. But basically, I was trying to get an EEP ROM. I, I haven't figured out how to convert that because that's like the game pack. But this is just the memory card but this game was really cool because it supported copying converting game pack to save now i copied these already over there's my game pack the control pack which is originally from my actual n64 controller i would hit you know just i'd copy that over there and then I'm done. I'll be sure to put links in the description.